How many triangles are there in this diagram? Don't forget to count all triangles of different sizes. There are 13 triangles in total. To make sure we've got them all, we should always try to find a systematic approach. So we start by counting all of the small triangles and see there are nine of them in total. Then we look at these medium sized triangles and see there are exactly three. Finally, we should also count the largest triangle, which is the perimeter of the whole shape. So that gives us nine plus three plus one, which is 13 triangles in total. How many squares are there in this diagram? Don't forget to count squares of all sizes and in all directions. The solution to this challenge is that there are 31 squares. Have another go if you missed any. We start by counting the squares that are formed by the horizontal and vertical lines in the diagram. These form a 3x3 three three grid in which there are 9 1x1 one one squares, 4 2x2 two two squares, and one large 3x3 three three square for a total of 14 squares. Next, we count the squares formed by diagonal lines. We can find 12 1x1 one one squares and 5 2x2 two two squares for a total of 17 squares of this type. So in total, there are 14 plus 17, or 31 squares. Well done if you got that. How many squares are there on a chessboard? The answer isn't 64. Don't forget to count all of the different sizes of square. This time the answer is a lot bigger, and so you'll want to look for a simpler way to count them than by finding them one by one. The answer to this challenge is 204. You might like to try again before watching the solution if you got something else. We'll solve this problem by thinking about how many squares there are of each size. The chessboard has eight rows and eight columns, so there are eight times eight, or 64, one by one squares. Now, how many two by two squares are there? The top left corner of a two by two square can be anywhere except in the bottom row or the right hand column. So the top left square can be in any of the remaining squares. There are seven times seven, or 49 of these. Similarly, if we consider three by three squares, their top left square can be anywhere except in the bottom two rows or the two rightmost columns. So there are 6 times 6, or 36 positions, where we can draw a 3 by 3 square. The same logic tells us there are 5 times 5, or 25 ways to place a 4 by 4 square, 4 times 4, or 16 ways to place a 5 by 5 square, 3 times 3, or 9 ways to place a 6 by 6 square, 2 times 2, or 4 ways to place a 7 by 7 square, and finally just one way to place the 8 by 8 square, which corresponds to the entire board. So in total, the number of squares is 64 plus 49 plus 36 plus 25 plus 16 plus 9 plus 4 plus 1, which equals 204. How many octagons are there in this diagram? Remember, an octagon is an eight-sided shape. If all of the angles and side lengths in the octagon are the same, then it's a regular octagon. But we don't just want regular octagons here. The challenge is to count all eight-sided polygons that can be made from the lines in this diagram. There are 12 octagons in total. Firstly, the whole shape is an octagon, so that's one. Then there are these two slightly smaller octagons, and then these three that are even smaller than those. So we found six so far. But we're not done. We can also draw octagons like this. There are two of this shape. And finally, this is an octagon too, and there are four of these. So that brings the total up to 12. Some of these are quite easy to miss, so well done if you got them all. In this challenge, we'll consider a sequence of shapes. The first shape is an equilateral triangle. To form the second shape, we'll divide this triangle into four identical smaller triangles and cut out the middle one. To make the third shape, we cut out even smaller triangles from the previous shape in the same way and repeat this process for each of the following shapes. If we continue in this way, how many blue triangles will be cut out in total from the sixth shape? For this challenge, I don't recommend counting the triangles directly. It's much easier to see if you can find a sequence or a pattern in the number of triangles for the earlier shapes and continue that pattern. The solution to this challenge is that there will be 121 blue triangles cut out from the sixth shape. The second shape has one blue triangle cut out. In the third shape, we see there are three additional triangles cut out, giving a total of four. In the fourth shape, there are three sets of three additional triangles cut out, adding another nine and bringing the total up to 13. At each level, every new triangle in the previous shape gets three new blue triangles around it in the next one. So the fifth shape will have an extra three times nine or 27 triangles, bringing the total to 40. Finally, the sixth shape will have another three times 27 or 81 triangles cut out, bringing the total to 121. Alternatively, you could notice that the number of blue triangles forms a sequence, where to go from one term to the next, you multiply by three and add one. So one times three plus one is four, four times three plus one is 13, and so on. So continuing this sequence, we would get 13 times three plus one, or 40 triangles for the fifth shape, 
and 40 times 3 plus 1 or 121 triangles for the sixth shape. However you did it, well done if you got the answer.